Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be drawing a wolf howling. Now if you haven't watched my other videos on how to draw a wolf head or a wolf body, you might want to check those ones out first because we're going to just jump over kind of that stuff. I might hit on it briefly, but um, if you want a little bit more detail on that, definitely check those videos out and uh, then join us for wolf howling. Let's start with the shoulders first. I usually start with the head, but we're going to do that first. And then from here, I'm going to draw a line straight down, and this line going kind of an angle back, and then a flat line. So I have this kind of triangle shape. This is going to help me get kind of the body there. At the end of this point, I'm going to draw in a large circle. This is going to be kind of the rump area. So here becomes the backbone of the wolf, and I can kind of just fill that underside of the belly in. And then the front legs are kind of bow inward just a little bit. So basically I have this triangular shape and I've just kind of carved into it. And I'm going to put in my hind legs of my wolf. Just following that line there. And then his bushy wolf tail. Okay, so here we have the wolf body, and now it's time for the head. So right up here, as we're getting to the middle point of these shoulders here, the middle part of the circle, we're going to cut it up and go up just a little bit. I'm going to put in our head, not directly touching, we're going to have a little room for the neck. Put the head in there, and then bring it in to connect up here. All right. So it's a little bit more extended than if we were actually drawing a wolf head having this snout coming out this way. Um, just because he's really, when they put their heads back, they're really stretching them out so they can get a good howl. <laughs> so as I come up to this point, I'm going to just kind of draw a straight line up through, and this is be the, my snout mark to kind of let me know. And... We have a little bit of the forehead come up, right there. And it's going to kind of come down just a little bit, kind of an angle down. We're not flat across, we're not straight down, but kind of an angled, circle angle. And it's going to kind of cut in with a little bit of a V right there. That's going to be the wolf mouth open. And then it's going to kind of cut in from there and then drop. And then you can put his little ears kind of laying back a little bit on his head and his eye. Right, and then we'll just cut off that tip there and we'll cut, darken that in to make a little bit of his um, nose there. So now I can take my eraser and erase these lines that I don't need. And then darken in the lines again that I do want, adding a little bit of fur marks. Alright, so there's our wolf howling, and I'll put just a little bit of background going on here, so he's not floating in outer space. Some rocks, and a little bit of grass. There we go. Now, how do you get that perfect circle moon? Um, if you're like me, you have a problem drawing those perfect circles, so let me show you a secret. It is perfectly okay to use something to trace around. So here I have this little coaster. And I'm going to put it down right about where I want the moon to be. I'm going to hold it down with one finger so it doesn't move. And I'm going to trace all the way around it and stop when it comes to the wolf. And pull it back. And there I have a perfect moon. So there's a little trick on getting those nice shapes. Just find something that's that shape and trace around it. So thank you so much for drawing this howling wolf with me. And I look forward to drawing with you again next time. We'll talk to you later. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.